tonight, vaccines are top of mind for many Nevadans, specifically concerns over second shot side effects. Yeah, we've heard your concerns, your stories, and we went straight to the source to get some answers on what you can expect when it's your turn. Sasha Loft is joining us now live outside the convention center with more. Sasha. Denise and Brian, the COVID-19 vaccines on the market right now are some of the safest we've ever seen. But many people have been reporting side effects, especially after that second shot. It may seem scary, but medical experts say it's not necessarily a bad thing. Ginger Allen is officially immunized against COVID-19. Happy to say I almost had no side effects. I had a little bit of a headache and took some Tylenol. She was nervous leading up to her second shot, but says the peace of mind and protection made it all worth it. Not only is it a safe vaccine, but it's also a very, very effective vaccine. UNLV School of Medicine Dean Mark J. Kahn says she's one of many who shared concerns over vaccine side effects. So it's important to know why they're happening. Both brands out now use mRNA technology to help our bodies respond to the virus. The first shot acts as a primer. The second is a boost, and that can lead to more reported reactions. Because of that boosted immune response, we have more symptoms, and the symptoms are really referable or uh, due to an intact immune system. So in many ways, the side effects tell us that our immune system's working. As for Alan, she believes the reward outweighs the risk. I feel very confident in science and our medical community. She hopes others will consider what she calls a necessary step to bring back a new sense of normal. Science works. Now, Dr. Khan says, though that side effect is a sign of an immune response to the vaccine, if you don't have any side effects, that doesn't mean it's not working. He said it's important to remember that everyone's body reacts differently, and both Moderna and Pfizer, the vaccines on the market right now, are both extremely effective. Yeah, Back some people say they just have like a little pinch in the arm. Others, you know, are, are different. So, Sasha, as for the vaccines, uh, there's soon going to be the third one. We've been telling you about that. Um, the U.S. panel has endorsed Johnson & Johnson's one-dose vaccine. Did Dr. Khan also uh, talk about that with you tonight? Denise, he did speak a lot about it. He said the entire medical community is really excited for this vaccine. He says because it is one dose, it's a lot easier to distribute to the community. And he said it doesn't require that extra deep freeze temperature like Moderna and Pfizer do, so it's easier to store. He said, though, it is important to remember that if you are offered a vaccine, if you get an opportunity for an, an appointment, it's important to get whichever one is offered, whether that be Moderna, Pfizer, or Johnson & Johnson. Reporting live tonight, Sasha Loftus, 8 News Now. All right, Sasha, thanks for that tonight.